Hey, it's Phil. In this video, I want to talk about NAN Cloud versus NAN Self Hosted. Now, about a month ago, I was facing this decision which one to actually get. So, what I want to do in this video is talk about the pros, the cons, the things I didn't realize were the case, as well as a few insider tips. So, hopefully, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one to get. And if you do decide to get NAN, I'll also leave some links down below to all of the resources mentioned in this video. If you use those, you'll be helping support the channel. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So this is NAN, and if you come to the pricing tab, we'll quickly go through the cost of NAN Cloud versus self-hosted because this is where things get a little bit interesting, and usually this is the most important part. So the first thing to note, if you decide to go on the monthly plan, which most people will start with, it's $24 a month, you get 2,500 workflow executions. A workflow execution is basically going through this entire workflow. You can trigger it 2,500 times. You also get to have one shared project, five concurrent executions, unlimited users, 50 AI workflow builder credits, and you get forum support. So why would you actually want to pay $24 a month when you can get it for free? Well, you do get the software for free, but you still need to host it somewhere. And this is where things can get quite variable because if you want to have solid uptime, you actually want to install it on a very recommended VPS. I actually went with a platform called Hosting It, mainly because I have all of my websites hosted on this platform and I've never had any issues. The support team is amazing as well. And I've actually got a VPS which is dedicated for NAN. So you basically just get started. You don't have to worry about installing it because it's pre-installed and you can basically go from there. So for a VPS, you can get it as little as $4.99 a month, which is significantly cheaper than $24 a month. You will have to pay usually upfront for like a year or two. And if you get a longer term, you also get a longer discount as well. I actually asked ChatGPT which version I should get. It asked a few questions about usage. It recommends that I get KVM2 as you will never outgrow this plan. You can basically thrash NAN and it's going to handle unlimited basically flows. It's absolutely nuts. So why would you decide to get once again the starter when you can get something much cheaper like a VPS and self host it? Well, there are a few little tricky things. What I'm going to first do is just sh share what Google says so I don't miss out on any but control and responsibility. So first thing, NA in cloud means they're gonna take care of maintenance on the server. They're also gonna do any updates, things like that. With a self-hosted version, you are going to have to update it every now and then. There's a critical update. Of course, there's a lot of instructions around the internet how to do it, but it can take up to five minutes of your time. Also the cost, the difference is obviously are the monthly cost in the NA in cloud. You can have it for free apart from VPS hosting. There is also no DevOps inside of the uh, inside of the cloud version. What that basically means is if you wanted to connect something like Gmail or YouTube or whatever it might be, you're going to have to go to the developer account and actually create an app. And then once you've created your app and got your secret keys and things like that, then you can connect it, which does take a few extra minutes right at the very beginning. Once you've actually connected it once, you've got those credentials for the rest of your time with AM. But once again, if you're a beginner, this can take a bit of time and it's also kind of annoying. So that's probably one of my biggest ones inside of it is convenience. There's also a lot of nodes currently, uh, sorry, initially installed in the cloud version. However, there are plenty of community nodes you can use. So don't think features are a bad one. Security once again is to do with the cloud server that it's hosted on. Majority of the time, if you use a trustworthy platform, like hosting it, you're not going to have any issues. And then the last one is support. You're not going to get NAN support. You're just going to have to rely on the community if you use the self-hosted version. Now, a few things not mentioned inside of there. First of all, one that kind of annoyed me was the self-hosted version doesn't actually allow you to have users. You can only have your own single account. Or if you wanted to get team members, you'll have to upgrade to what's called the enterprise plan. And I believe that some astronomical cost around $1,000 a year. So that's something you're probably not going to do. So if you get the cloud version, you're actually going to get unlimited users. Unfortunately, not the case with self-hosted. Another con of the self-hosted is inside of the NAN view, there is actually a projects folder inside of the cloud version inside of NAN in your hosted version, there is no cloud, which is kind of annoying, sorry, no projects. 
However, it's not a deal breaker. It's just kind of annoying. If you're a little bit OCD like me, then you just feel a little bit neglected. You just want to organize things. However, you can still come into the overview, see all your workflows, come into the personal tab, and you can also create folders inside of here. Like you can see, it just doesn't show up on this left tab. And apart from that, honestly, everything is kind of the same. You can see inside of the cloud version, 50 AI workflow builder credits. Instead of worrying about that on the self toasted version, you could get something called NAN chat. I'll link to it down below. What this basically does is it creates a little box inside of your workflow in NAN. You basically tell it what you want it to do. So uh, the box appears down here. And you just say, I want to connect this to that, to this, to that, and it'll go and build it for you. Or failing that, you can just go to ChatGPT and say, hey, I want a workflow with XYZ. It's going to create a JSON. You just copy and paste it right in here and the workflow appears. So it's definitely not a deal breaker. And honestly, apart from that, I think they're basically the same on top of it, right? It just really comes down to updates, which is going to be a little bit of an annoying situation every now and then. And once again, it's only for critical updates. You don't have to do it every single time, maybe once every couple of months. The second one, the big difference is going to be how much power you can have. So if you get a good VPS, you can run unlimited amounts of workflows all at the same time. If you get a crappy one with, with uh, some server downage, then you're not going to have any automations run. And that's when you should probably come for something like Starter. But apart from that, I think that's basically it. I, of course, went with the self-hosted version once again. Hosting it, I got the KVM2. If you just want to install that, it takes literally 10, not even 10 minutes to sign up, like one minute. You click a button, your service there, the job is done. But that's it. Hopefully I've given you a little bit of clarity. I thought I'd just shoot this one out here. I've had loads of people asking about it. Once again, you want to help support the channel, I'll leave a link down below. But that's it, NAN Cloud versus NAN Self Hosted. Hopefully it's given you a bit of clarity. And once again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.